Hello, I'm Mr. David Strange, and today I'm going to take a look at a piece of card magic called All Do As I Do, which, as it says, is an amazing trick with an ordinary deck of cards. No skill required. And honestly, I don't believe that's exactly true, because even the simplest of magical mysteries can become incredible with the correct presentation. Even something as simple as the coin vanish, the right build up, uh, the right overall presentation, I think you can elevate anything to a higher status. Now there may be an upper limit as to how well you can do this, but in the right circumstance, the right build up, the right presentation, especially with the right people, if all the crowd has a good, real good mood, you can really take something like this or even something as simple as the coin vanish and make it just amazing. So let's take a look at this and see what it's all about. Now this, originally I believe there may have been a prop that came with this. And I'm really happy that the original instructions are here. A lot of times these old instructions are hard to get because of these items age. And I don't know exactly how old this is. 40s, 50s maybe if I had to venture a guess. But I'm not entirely sure. And a lot of times these things don't have dates. And with magic, it's very, very hard beyond a certain point to really determine the exact age of this. I could be off by 10 years on this pretty easy, but I'm suspecting 40s, 50s, maybe 60s potentially, but I don't know. And perhaps as time goes on, I'll be able to figure some of this out. So what is the secret is all do as I do? Well, it's right here in the instructions. And it starts out is basically what happens is you have five cards in a packet. I'm going to show you this real quick. So you take a deck of cards, you mill off five cards just like that and you take the top card and you flip it over put it under the packet take the next card as is put it there take the next card flip it over put it under the packet take the next card as is put it under the packet square it up and as you can see you have two face up and three face down close the packet flip it over take the top card flip it over flip over the packet take the top card flip it over and then flip over the packet one more time, spread the cards, and all your cards are face down. However, it is called All Do As I Do, so basically what happens is you have the spectator take five other cards and attempt to follow along. And this would be really great with a large group of people, you know, like four or five people, uh, friends, parties, stuff like that. And this is repeatable to a degree. But the secret is they're never going to, their cards will never be in the same condition because one of these cards is not like the other. Oops, it's not that one. <laughs> Let's see, it's this one. So there's a double-sided card. So they'll never end up with the same result as you. So if this was the case, let's say I replaced that card. So let's do it like this. So the first card, flip it up, put it on the bottom. Next card, leave it face down as is. Flip up on the bottom, leave it as is. And then you spread them out, and there you go, two up and three down, switch over the packet, flip, switch over the packet, flip, switch over the packet one more time, spread them out. This is what happens to the spectator. There's a card sticking up. And they're going to scratch their heads and try and figure out why. How, why does this not work? Now, if you're really good at holding out on some of these cards, you could easily put these cards back on top of the deck. Uh, you could fall shuffle and deceive people as to exactly where this card is, do a double lift, you know, kind of fake them out. Now what you can also do with this is, um, oh, I think I had like uh, six cards there. So the initial setup is basically this card is second from the top. So that way you can flip it up, tuck it under, leave it the same, tuck it under, flip it up, tuck it under, leave it the same, tuck it under, spread them out, they're all like that, flip, 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 and it's all the same. Now, at this point, you've moved your double-sided card from second from the top to third from the top, but that's okay because if you want to because if you want to do the trick again, all you got to do is take this top card and say, all right, follow me this time. Do it just like this. Bottom card, as is on the bottom, and then you begin the original trick. Then you say, top, flip over, Bottom as is, top flip over, uh, bottom as is, 
and then you show them like that flip 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 boom and then of course that card's in the center and then you can redo it yet again so it kind of resets but the first time you do it as per the instructions it says you want your card your double sided card second from the top but then after that it switches position and it's third from the top so the first card in that case if you repeat it you've got to make sure to put it as is on the bottom and then begin your alternating starting with turning this card up now what some people don't know is when you buy a deck of cards a lot of times it comes with these jokers or extra cards and more frequently i am seeing not this card <laughs> i am seeing decks and this is probably like this been this way for a while is decks are coming with a double-sided card in the deck already and they're not specifically advertised as magic decks and i think the purpose is just for g whiz collecting reasons because i know people collect and trade individual cards just so they can have a variety it's just a collector's thing and uh, so that's something to remember so if you buy a deck of cards it's quite possible a special especially kind of a, a specialty deck kind of like i favor these aurora cards right here and this i don't know if i have it in here i don't but i do have it in a different spot but these aurora cards i have let me see if i can find it real quick i actually have a double-sided aurora card As a matter of fact here it is right here and then same with my firebird same with my sea king whoops let's see so i have several double-sided cards so when you buy a deck of cards, especially a bicycle brand of deck of cards, because this is bicycle brand, then you're probably going to get a single double-sided card, which allows you to do this all do as I do, little uh, card illusion for people. And there's the instructions right there, just to kind of let you see. And at first, man, it confused me, all the flipping and stuff. It took me uh, about an hour to get it straight in my head to where I could do it the next day pretty much flawless. And uh, overall, I'm real happy with it. It's kind of cool. I'm adding it to my repertoire of just quick, easy card magic I can do for people to kind of puzzle them, make them scratch their heads. So very excited about that. Now, something else. Oh, and I also did this on my TikTok to get other people to follow along. So hopefully they'll enjoy that as well and uh, I got a couple friends who watch and and hopefully it'll make them scratch their head and they they don't like it to be magic to be spoiled so they probably won't check out my YouTube uh, but it'll probably frustrate them to no end until it drives them crazy now something else you can do is if you have an extra double-sided card you could very easily see where you could you could have five cards prepped ready to go and let's say you know there's you're definitely going to have a few people help you know in the crowd you could have you could say well here let's take uh let me give you five cards and what you could do you could your packet right here you say look i want you to take a pack of five cards uh, i'm going to take a pack of five cards giving yourself the double-sided card and then you could say well i'm going to give you a pack of five cards and if you want to be risky and put some heat on or if you have a friend who knows your magician you could you could go and hand out one to them with this card the only thing is if you hand it to somebody who doesn't know what everything's about and they look over they're gonna be like hey what's this but if you have a friend you kind of give them a little nudge and a wink and they'll be like oh look i got it cool and uh that you can just have them pick up the deck and just like shuffle it in for you so it's they don't even know it's there or you hand out some of those packets and everybody's trying to follow along and what you do is you casually take and you take your pack and put it on the bottom and say look let me let me take off five more cards and then you repeat it and you already have it set up yet again so if they think you have if you're doing something slick and you throw it on the bottom of the deck and take five more and do it yet again even after you've already gave the other people their own stacks from the deck and you put your stack in and get a new set of cards that's probably going to throw them off they're not going to suspect that there's yet a second double-sided card so i think this is really fun kind of interesting to do and uh, i certainly hope you enjoyed this magic mystery 
all do as I do. Again, I'm Mr. David Strange. Thank you so much for watching. Teleport. Another dimension.